Hello and welcome to Energy 142 class number 9. We're going to talk about adjusted baseline part 3 in this and this is going to be the last in our adjusted baseline videos. So the first thing I want to review again is again our adjusted baseline steps, the four steps we've been talking about. Number one was choose a model, which model to use and we finally finished that step last time. And then the other um, three we're going to do today which are create a model for your baseline year, the first year utility bills, and using the model from number one and the model parameters for the following years, calculate an adjusted baseline for years two and three, and then compare your adjusted baseline to the actual energy use. So let's look at how, we, how we're going to do this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this in Excel. So we need a few Excel skills. We've already gone over some ifs formula in this class. We're going to go over the linest formula and how to use the index formula uh, to do this. So I've posted a couple slides of the some ifs uh, of what we've gone through before, but I'm not going to go over them in the video as I've gone through these before, but just to sort of refresh your memory. And if you want to look back at the presentation where I went, that went over this, feel more than welcome to. So now let's look at the Linest formula. So we've seen a, a lot of graphs like this where we've been doing linear modeling, but how do we really get these coefficients into Excel? Um, so how we do that is the Linest formula. The Linest formula takes the form Lin est, known y's, known x's, constant stats. So what are all these known y's, known x's, constant stats? So known y's is a list of y data. In our example, remember, y is going to be the energy use, or the CCF of natural gas, or the kilowatt hours of electricity. The known x's are the list of x data. So remember, in our example, in the three-parameter model at least, it's the heating degree days calculated the balance point, or the cooling degree days calculated the balance point. So const just says if we want to have an equation of the form y equals mx plus b or y equals mx. And we want this to be true because we want, us, we want it to be in the form of y equals uh, mx plus b because that's what our three parameter model does. And then stats is just saying, okay, what do you want this Linus formula to output? Do you want it to output statistical information about the fit, such as the r squared value? Or do you want it to output the m and b values, so the actual model information? So, uh, depending on what we want to output, we'll, we'll set this stats value. And then what index does is it selects the value which Linus provides to the cell. So, for example, if stats was false, we could either provide M or B to the cell. All index does is say, do we want um, the cell to equal M or the cell to equal B? You'll see this when we go through the Excel example. So, it's going to be a really short PowerPoint this week because I want to get right to the Excel example. And it's, the sheet is going to be posted on Blackboard. And the next video will show you how um, the sheet was created, and it'll uh, help you create your own sheet. Thanks.